A 65-year-old man was referred for treatment of an adenocarcinoma of the distal esophagus. Staging showed local regional lymph nodes and suspicion of a solitary metastasis in the left adrenal gland. Additional percutaneous cytological puncture confirmed the diagnosis of an oligometastasis. After three cycles of induction chemotherapy, restaging with a PET-CT showed partial response of the primary tumor and the left adrenal gland metastasis. No additional metastases were detected. In the multidisciplinary meeting, it was decided to treat the patient with new adjuvant chemoradiotherapy to downstage the primary tumor and to facilitate radical surgical resection. It is believed that the chemotherapy regime has a radiosensitizing effect rather than a systemic effect. Adding the left adrenal gland to the radiation field would cause significant kidney injury and was therefore not considered as an option. To prevent growth of the left adrenal metastasis during chemoradiotherapy, we decided after informed consent of the patients to perform an EOS-guided RFA. Both endoscopists followed an EOS-guided RFA in vivo animal training organized by the manufacturer. Under proper full sedation and antibiotic prophylaxis, a linear Fujinon EOS scope was positioned in the proximal stomach and the left adrenal gland was visualized with a hyperergogenic lesion of 5.8 mm with a sharp border. The OSRA is a 19 gauge water cooled monopolar RV needle with a 10 mm long active tip and was positioned inside the lesion. The exposed distal end of the electrode is needle shaped and echogenic. Total length of the electrode including the delivery system is 150 cm. The Viva Combo RV generator system with a variable power setting is connected to the handle of the needle electrode. Energy delivery is controlled by a foot switch. The RF power output is generated continuously with the setting value until the impedance value reaches 100 ohms. The Viva pump circulates saline through the electrode to lower temperature around the active tip of the electrode. Based on the manufacturer information on the ablation volume with a 19 gauge needle with a tip of exposure of 1 cm tested in the bovine livers, we chose on empirical grounds for the settings of 35 watts for 8 to 10 seconds. Using real time EUS imaging, two overlapping applications of RVA were performed. After the first application at 35 watts, 100 ohms during 8 seconds, no echogenic bubbles occurred. These echogenic bubbles or steam popping occur when the tissue temperature in the ablation zone increases more than 100 degrees Celsius. We decided to perform a second application in order to maximize the effect of the ablation. In the second application at 35 watts and 100 ohms during 10 seconds, echogenic bubbles appeared in a large area around the needle tip. After chemoradiation, restaging showed no additional metastasis nor avidity of the left adrenal gland. Transiatal esophagectomy with left adrenalectomy was performed. Pathology showed extensive fibrosis but still vital tumor cells at the edge of the adrenal gland. It cannot be ruled out that the neoadjuvant chemotherapy has also contributed to the fibrosis seen in the resection specimen. The vital tumor cells at the edge of the adrenal gland indicates that this ablation was not complete. This could be due to suboptimal probe placement or inadequate RV settings. We conclude EUS RV is safe and feasible for local disease control of left adrenal gland metastasis. Settings should be optimized and more ablate and resect studies are necessary to determine the optimal RFA settings in correlation with histopathological findings and patient outcome.